we touched upon it before um, a little bit about the mask and what have you yeah. but working with that Davos costume being in the chair did that present challenges did that present strengths that you really enjoyed about playing Davos the physicality of the role how was that for you well that that in a sense wasn't so wasn't the most attractive part yeah. I have to say I mean starting with the mask I mean mm. I think I suffer from mild claustrophobia yeah. and um and, and the moment when that thing goes over your head it's like sort of, I thought it was a bit like a diving helmet I don't know that's it it's a, in those mm. days I'm not, not now I'm sure but you know it just goes over your head and mm. you know that for the next eight hours or something you're not going to be able to to wind up and blow your nose there's <laughs> an itch on your face and if you can't eat anything you only sip liquid through a straw through that tiny Ooh. little you can't really see properly I mean you are completely you become effectively quite disabled you know yeah. sort of in a small way um so when he's pushing you around in a, as like as if you're an old people say you sort of you are sort yeah. of, you are <laughs> <laughs> um, um so that was the mask and it was a long process it was a, yeah. a good hour and then of course the hand which was also you know with the the, the the, the rubber hand which would yeah. with the nails on to the end the, um, this sort of thing yes yes which which i which i think was you know was a, i found that very helpful sort of an i did yeah. great moment when, when it suddenly wakes up i think that's a great as i mentioned um so that's the mask so no it was pretty uncomfortable actually in a way and mm. that's a part way the, the, the you know not 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 the best bit um yeah. and also the fact of as an actor which I didn't realize till I got into the studio particularly was that you, you do what you do in the rehearsal room and it seems to be going fine. And I mean, one of the first things that was said to me when I got on the floor of the set was you need to be like, we need to be stronger yeah. because it's got to hit the voice and the whole energy and the, and the emotions have all got mm. to go through the mask. And oh. that, as anyone who's ever been on a mask on stage will know, that is a, that's a hard, you know, it's an extra, <laughs> extra mm. effort, extra energy to push the performance through the yeah. latex. Um, barrier so uh, so that was a challenge there definitely oh absolutely and, and the chair where well, i do i mean the chair is i think terry malloy calls it the shopping trolley the <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bit like that because it's got a sort of will of its own and it kind of shoots all and and you can only work it with your with your knees and your bum you know and 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 that's when you're trying to look as if you're running the universe <laughs> <laughs> one hand only one hand over it's quite a challenge actually to mm. it's like the swan i think you're looking serene above and going like mad underneath <laughs> the surface. so that was quite so and i mean interestingly when ken Greaves said it was such a just a radio part mm. and i think what i would have added to him is well it's also quite theatrically difficult as well because you've got yeah. a face with the voice with the mask and also coping with a different difficult piece of equipment yeah <laughs> And I know there's a lot of stick that comes in through a particular shot where you where you skim a door, which I, I just think it's incredible that you didn't do that in every shot because it looks so difficult to operate. You know, you know? skim a door. I don't know. I don't, oh, right. Have I, yes, I, I don't remember that. No. So, again, no criticism whatsoever because that looks so hard to move. I, I, it was a hard. Yes, it was a difficult thing to move because it, it's just so unwieldy. And it, well, it's the yeah. Dalek face, you know, like which. But of course, the guys in it, I suppose they're, they're sort of, I don't, I can't remember, but they're using the same thing, but they yeah. haven't got to look. <laughs> they think That's it's it. Move. Yeah, I've got to sort of do it mm. without. And I don't mm. know I think whether it was the same when he got to Terry, whether it got easier. I don't know. But anyway, I had the same one that Michael Wisher had, I think, yeah. or the same like, copy of it. And we mm. weren't given it. The other thing was that apparently when Michael Wisher had the, that had the chair for, the, for his rehearsals, I don't think mm. we did. So oh. I was rehearsed with a, literally a little wooden chair which i was moving around as i you know, moved my hands to sort of when 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 we were rehearsing so oh, we yes. had to adapt to it very quickly mm. so that was a challenge but i mean you know that's what acting and that's what life is about isn't it challenges oh absolutely yeah. and again in, in the end especially by episode four there's a real presence there about how you're you're moving as davos and all these things yeah. and uh, the the physical performance of davos i'm always fascinated by i really i really am yeah and yeah yeah 